I'm gonna tell you the two DJs name. I respect them the most. It's a DJ named Goldfinger and it's DJ Self. Those two guys I got the most respect for because even though they were, <laughs> you know, even though it, it worked out in my favor, I respect them. I want, want that smoke too. And we would, we, you know, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you something that, that this is, a, this is a DJ Self story. So there was a time we was on, when we was on the radio, he was up against me when he first got on. He, was on, he got on on a Friday night, or maybe just it was a Friday. Now, I'm going to keep it a thousand. I used to stay home on Fridays. I used to make a tape. And I, my competitor figured out, yo, he's not even up there on Friday. So we could put a nigga here. I got the word by accident that they was going to put him on on my night that I'll stay home. I'm in the house during the week. I'm like, I ain't going down there, man. I'm going to watch this TV, man. Fuck everybody. I'm not nigga. It starts getting closer to Friday. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going down there. <laughs> now, I got the everything. The cars, the music, kids. Food, chef. I was like, that's how I kind of got on. I'll go down. I start going down every Friday night. And when, when me and the, I, I knew my competitive, the PD, we had the biggest numbers that radio had ever seen in years. Because I got him on in the other room, he got me on in the other room. So I'm playing, but I got the competitors on where I can hear. And he got me on in the other room. <laughs> He's if they go to a commercial, I'm like, yo, go to commercial now. The niggas went to commercial, go to commercial. We gotta, we gotta get out quicker. <laughs> but I'm older, I'm like, I don't know, I'm 40 at the time. But I knew that this is the make or break. So I wanted to compete, but I respect he competed too. Now, I'm a Leo, you're not gonna out stamina me, you know, because I already know what, what you think. He's old and he's not gonna keep doing it. Once I get you out of that mindset, then it's like, okay, he's just gonna keep coming. So I gotta figure out another thing. Now, the DJ Goldfinger, now, these are the reasons I said there's the two DJs I respect the most. Well, we gotta wrap up. So yeah? Go ahead. Go ahead. Goldfinger had this club, Envy, on fire. Not him, but his man said, tell Flex, Flex is Jordan, is Flex is Jordan, Cole, uh, uh, Goldfinger's Colby. I said, what'd you say? <laughs> I said, George, you're tired, nigga. What'd you, what you say? <laughs> he said, he got new rings, you got old rings. This was like 06, 05. The promoter, they killing it. P clubs jam. There's no club across the street. I can't open up. So I don't even have that in my mind yet. I said, when he's away, can I play? He went out of town. They hired me for one. I don't want to say I turned the place up town down. I played horrible because I was in my car show mode. I didn't know the right records to play. I wasn't up on my music. He got the best of me, round one. My street team and everybody said, I said, how'd I do last night? Nigga, you wasn't there. <laughs> I don't get mad at them. They tell me the truth. Give me the truth. Cool. So now I don't have no leverage to get back in there because I stunk up the joint. They come to me and say, we kind of want you to shout it because you want to play. So now they don't even want me because I'm on talent. 
because I didn't have any at the time. My, you know, I've had periods in my career, two, three years, where I don't play well. And I'm, I, you know, because I know that happens, I, I take it on the chin. So I play with him once again. Yo, what time can I play? Three o'clock or something. Now, well, mind you, I went back, I went through that in the 90s. Now, this is 2000s happening to fucking get. I said, no problem. Now, you know, I make good money in the club. So, you know, if you're a hot DJ and you, you know, you could get four to five thousand, right? They said they got a thousand, thinking I'm gonna say, no. Nah. no, nah, give me the thousand. We play every week. The guy's talented. He's hitting the records, he's hitting the records, and I'm like, now, everybody kept saying in the street, you're going to win because your personality is bigger than his and you're you going to get on the mic and get the crowd riled up. I did no microphone. I said, I'm not going to use the mic. He's not going to use the mic. We're just going to play. Now, the, the club got five, 600. Now it's 900, 1,000. It's popping. Now, I never told him this, but I was about to quit because I was so fucking tired. This nigga's wearing me out every week. The promoter, yo, there was a night I was sitting in the back. I was sleepy because I didn't go to the club till two. I get off at 12, I'm sleeping. I was gonna quit any week. The promoter calls me, yo, man, Goldfinger just quit. He said he just can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I hung up the phone like, thank God, nigga. I'm tired. <laughs> But he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with me for a super long time. And he wasn't intimidated by me. And he was going hard, but I learned from him too because I learned shit he was playing, he learned from me. We've joked about it since then. And it was competitive and I love it. And I like those two guys because they compete against me. And I want to compete. I don't, I don't want it handed to me. I don't want backdoor shit, I want to compete. So going back to the crown, you're gonna have to do it better than me. Or, or, I don't plan on handing it over. Who does that? <laughs> like, why would we do that? <laughs> I mean... What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.